Hello YouTube! Today um, I'm going to do a video of how to um, add MSN to your iChat. There are also there are already a lot of videos on this, but they're all with the server njs.netlab.cz and I believe there's one with um, that has a different server, that uses a different server, but those ones don't work for me. I don't know why, but they just don't. So I decided to just check out own servers and see if one works, and I found one that works, and I'm going to show you which one that is right now. So first you want to open up your internet browser, which is probably already open, because you're watching this video. Yay! Then in Google and type PSI, click the, type, click the first one, it will be in the description, the link for it. Download it, and drag it into your applications folder. From there you're going to open it, and... As you can see, already you have an account. Don't worry about that. So you're going to click General Account Setup. You're going to click Add. Any name you want. I'm going to go Marius again. Or Marius 2, actually, because that has to be a different one. Register New Account. Click Add. And you're going to go to find... Uh, where is it? Jabber.hot slash... Is this... No, that's not... It's a dash, right? Dash. I don't know. You can't answer me anyway right now. So, yeah, um, I'm just going to say minus hot minus chili.net. Next. Don't change anything else. This is where you'll create your Jabber ID. So, you create a username and you create a password. Um, I know it's supposed to be password and then retype password, but it's not that way. I don't know why. Um, so, your, my username will be Macintosh. My password will be. I'm not going to tell you. Actually, I'm going to make it a bit shorter. There you go. Next, you have successfully registered, blah, blah, blah. If it doesn't say that, then your username is already taken. And this is your Jabber ID. You're going to copy that. And click Save. And you're going to close this. You're now going to right-click your account, the top, the top name, not the bottom one. Status, online. You're now going to set, leave that. You don't have to change it. OK. You don't have to enter anything here, you can just click publish without typing anything. I just like to type my name, I don't know. Close that. You're going to add authorize this contact by right clicking and then click add authorize. Then right click again and click receive incoming event. You're going to close it, whatever, you don't even need it. just need to um, add and authorize it and stuff. You are now going to right click account again, not the small name, but the top name. Gonna click service discovery and you're gonna find your service. Mine's MSN Transport. Um, if it says something else, not exactly MSN Transport, but it has the MSN logo and it says something with MSN, and you right click it and it, the register button is disabled, that means it's still loading. Just wait for it to say MSN Transport, then right click, register. You can also use Yahoo and AIM. Well, AIM you could use directly with um, iChat, so you wouldn't need that. Um, ICQ, if you know what that is, and uh, just if that doesn't work, just use another server. But then you have to register at the other, at the other server too. Now this is loading; it's going to take just a bit of time, about a minute to load. So just give it that time. All right, and if this server doesn't work for you, then instead of using jabber.hotchili.net, right at the beginning, just try a different server. And if it doesn't work, try a different one again. Uh, make sure it says jabber dot something because those are the ones that support Jabber, that make Jabber account. I don't know if all of them do. I just used this. This was the first random one I used and it worked. So I believe that a lot of them have MSN transport. Alright. Oh, this is done now. You're going to type your MSN username. Oops. Not that one. Um, but MacintoshX at Hotmail.com. Password. Oh, I'm not going to tell you this one. <laughs> Oops. Wrong. All oh, right, now I have it. Register, registration successful. I'm gonna close this, and here you have to authorize this contact again. So right click, add authorized contact. You're gonna right click, receive incoming event. I'm gonna click add authorize. You're gonna click next, and you're gonna click close. You're now gonna right click and receive incoming event because there's a new one once again, and you're gonna close this. Um, this is already it for PSI. You can close that. You can. You have to delete it now. Just make sure you don't delete your account. I don't know how you want to do that, but yeah, just make sure you don't. All right, in iChat, you are going to go iChat preferences, accounts, 
plus Jabber account name you are gonna paste whatever you copied um, so what this basically is it's the username you created for Jabber with minus Macintosh at Jabber dot hot chili dot net so whatever server you had there um, password the one you created oh I made it shorter never mind this one should be it click done and there's your account yeah that doesn't matter just ignore that close this now and I don't have any buddies yet because I um, do not use this for chatting but rather for email only um, and just for this example actually so if you add an account click buddies add buddy and if someone adds you or do you already have your contact added just um, so usually this would be something how it looked like this is their name then percent hotmail.com at jabber.hotchili.net right this is what it would look like even though it's actually at hotmail.com it would say percent hotmail.com and then at your server um, and usually you wouldn't have a name added and stuff so this is what this is how your contact would look like and you don't want it to be like that right it would still say the app blah 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 actually I don't know why it doesn't right now. You're gonna right click it and click show info. And you're gonna say first name, whatever, let's say Marius. And you could add their real email too. So let's say H S A I O H D I O at hotmail.com. This would be their real email. You don't have to add this. And as you can see now there it says Marius. Now I know in Hotmail you could usually have an account name, whatever you want, and then everyone would see it as that name. But uh, I, I don't think you can do this here. If you can and you know how to, just tell me, please, because I really want to know. Because um, this is just showing their real name instead of um, whatever they typed in MSN. Um, so, yeah. This is how you do it. Um, so, if you have more than one, if you have already like 10 accounts added, you need to add a nickname for all of them. Otherwise, it'll just be the really messed up email. Um, let me just delete this account now. Log out. Yes. Preferences. Oh, gee. Preferences. Delete. Right. Delete. Yay. Oh, and if you want to delete your account, you go to PSI. And you're going to go to General. Account Setup. You're going to go to Remove. On this one, in this case. Remove account and try and try to unregister it from server. Um, you have to enter your password for this. I think that's the wrong one. You're gonna click remove. All right, knew it. Uh, all right, you're gonna click remove, and it will remove the account. It will actually remove the account. Um, so that name can be taken one more time, and yeah, that's it for now for today. Um, I hope this helped you guys. Um, I hope this worked for you guys. If it didn't, just send me a personal message or leave a comment. Um, I will try to help you as soon as possible. And I'll be seeing you guys soon. Bye-bye.